Now, as you have seen from the title, these fragrances are my long-lasting luxury fragrances. Listen, ladies, these fragrances are not going to be for everyone. I am very aware of that. Some of the price tags on these fragrances are, it's up there. I have them ranked according to the price of what I pay for them. So the first fragrance that you're going to see is going to be the least amount, and the last one is going to be the most that I spent. Now, they start at about $230, I believe is where it starts, and it goes all the way up to $700. Like I said, this price point is not for everyone, so please don't get in my comments talking junk. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know it's not for everyone and I can appreciate that. But for the lady who does not mind spending that kind of money on herself because she knows that she's worth it, she knows her self-worth. And I'm not saying that, you know, a fragrance that costs less than this does not make it worthy. I'm not saying that. But for me, this is what I like. This is what appealed to me. And if you, your personality is anything like mine and you don't think about, I can't pay that much for a fragrance because you know that you work hard and you deserve nice things well this video is for you without further ado let's get into the video because I cannot wait to tell you about some of these gorgeous fragrances that I have they do last about eight to ten plus hours with these fragrances so ladies not only are they luxury fragrances but they are long lasting fragrances that does project you don't have to worry about if people are gonna smell you they will smell you okay I mean after all for the price point oh they better smell you shoot they better smell you before you even get there. As far as I'm concerned, you better smell me before I round the corner. This price point, oh, oh yeah, you better smell me. I'm just saying. So stick around and I'm gonna tell you about these luxury long lasting fragrances. <laughs> Hello my fabulous fragrance lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and on this channel I speak about nothing but over the top fabulous fragrances. If this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. I would love to have you join this channel. If you see or hear something that interests you, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. For all of the ladies who are used to me and my shenanigans, hey y'all hey. As the title suggested and as the title stated, ladies, because this is for my ladies. This segment that I have prepared for you is nothing other than my long lasting luxury fragrances that last 10 plus hours. The first fragrance that I want to bring to you, we're all familiar with this brand. We all love this brand and the fragrance that I'm talking about and is none other than Grand Soir by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. This fabulous, gorgeous fragrance. It's an amber vanilla fragrance. It's such a stunning fragrance to me. Now for me, this fragrance I call my um, fragrance that you, you have to be dressed up when you wear this fragrance in my opinion. This is not a casual, everyday kind of fragrance in my opinion. And if anyone who knows me, I'm the first one to say, I will wear what I want to wear whenever I want to wear it with whatever I want to put on at the time. If the fragrance costs $800 and I got on jeans and a white t-shirt, then I, if I feel like spraying it, I'm gonna spray it. But for me, this one, it just commands that you look your absolute best. Like this fragrance, oh my gosh, it screams elegance. This fragrance, fragrance to me screams, oh, you better be taking me to an elegant affair where you are dressed to the nine. I mean, you have on a, I'm talking about an elegant outfit. It could be either a ball gown or it can be a popping designer dress. Just make sure that you represent this fragrance the right way. This fragrance lasts so very long as with most Mason Francis Craig Dijon fragrances, they are very long lasting. And I don't find that this one disappears. When you spray it on, you smell it. I mean, from start to finish. Like I said, it's a very elegant fragrance. I smell, I smell vanilla. But to me, it kind of smells ambery in my opinion. But that's not what, and oh yes it is, there's amber listed in it, and tonka bean. This fragrance is so stunning. And I know I'm not the only one, this is not new. You see the dent that I've put in it, I actually use this. But what I'm curious about, ladies, I would love to smell this on a man. Something tells me that this fragrance on a man's chemistry will be out of this world. Now this next fragrance, this fragrance took me by, I'm not going to say surprise, but it, it, it captured my heart when I first smelled it. And it was a blind buy because it was very popular at the time. You know, everybody was talking about it. Well, no, actually everybody was talking about 
the one prior to this one. And the fragrance I'm talking about is none other than The Hob by Kajal. Anyone who knows anything about this floral, musky, sweet, powdery fragrance, you know that the amber woodiness of this fragrance captivates your very soul as soon as you spray it. I mean, it is, it is so sweet and it is so tropical. This makes me just want to be on somebody's island when I spray this. I promise you, if the Rona ever get up out of here and I am able to go on an island vacation, baby, the hob is coming with me. Now, everyone always talks about Lamar. I have Lamar upstairs as well, but I prefer to spray the hob. This fragrance is so long lasting. When I say this fragrance just kept going on and on, this one was definitely 10 plus hours. This is such a powerful, gorgeous fragrance. And when I say tropical, it's very tropical, it's very sweet, it's very musky, it's very woody, but it is everything. If you have not smelled this one, last year it was all the rage. This one, as, as well as Lamar, I think Lamar got more notoriety than the Hob, but in my opinion, in my opinion, the Hob smells better than Lamar. Not taking anything away from Lamar, I just prefer the Hob. If you can, and if you've never smelled it, it is definitely worth you getting your nose on. It is a stunner. Just like this next one that's coming up, I love everything that I've ever smelled by this brand. I mean, I've, I've smelled quite a few by this brand and I love every last one of them, but this one captivated my soul when I smelled it at first and that is none other than Glorious by Bodicea. This fragrance right here, it is fruity, it is woody, it is warm and spicy. It is so, so gorgeous. When I tell you this fragrance, when I first sprayed it, the first thing that captured my attention was the, the woodiness and the fruitiness of it. It is, it is so, so good. When I tell you that it is long lasting, it is so long lasting. And from the very beginning, like the first notes that you smell is the fruit and then the warm spiciness of the fragrance. This, that lasts the entire fragrance. I'm talking about from the very beginning to the very, till you scrub it off your skin, really. It smells the same. This fragrance is so worth every dollar. So in my opinion, it was not that expensive but it is definitely worth you getting your nose on if you've never smelled anything by Bodicea. This is a good price point to start at. It's not that expensive. Some of them, they do go very high in the price tag, but this one is in the lower range. I think it was like a little, like something in the low 200s was, was this one, but it is definitely worth you getting your nose on. It's worth every dollar in my opinion. Definitely worth the money definitely long lasting. Y'all have heard me talk about this brand and you will continue to hear me talk about this brand because I absolutely love this brand. I have not smelled anything thus far by this brand that I did not love. The fragrance that I'm talking about y'all is none other than Psyche by Quinto Canto. And this fragrance right here, right here, OMG. Talking about long lasting, Who? when I sprayed this, this fragrance went Nowhere. I mean, nowhere. This fragrance, oh, but it smells so good. This fragrance to me is so feminine. It is so feminine, so sweet. It's floral, it's fruity, but it's also citrusy. And what, what surprised me was that I don't particularly care for citrus fragrances, but the citrus note is not so strong that it would, you know, repel me, but it, it, it is a little citrusy, but it's also very fruity and it's sweet. And that is what kept my attention. But this fragrance, y'all, is so long lasting. It's called Psyche by Quinto Canto. Get your nose on it. I know you can definitely get a sample um, from Lucky Scent for this one. It is, it's a little up there in price range, but it's, it's affordable in my opinion. Oh, it is so stunning. When I tell you that, to me, all of these fragrances were worth every dollar that I spent on them, they really were. They were worth every dollar. This is Psyche by Quinto Canto. Definitely worth you getting your nose on. The price point is starting to go up and I'm starting to get into some of my loves that I have a problem putting down. As you'll see, two of them, you can really see the dent that I put in it. But this next brand, I have a love for this brand. As you get to know my collection, you will see I have a lot of fragrances by this brand and that is none other than Zhirzhov More Than Words. Look at the dent in this bottle. Like, it's ridiculous. I love this fragrance. It is a rose oud combo. Oh my gosh. And it, when I tell you it is an attention getter, it is an attention getter. It's woody, it's rosy, 
Oh, but it is such a stunner. Ugh. It's very floral. Now, I have heard, I have read that, and I've seen reviews where men actually wear this fragrance. Would I want my guy to smell like this? No. But if a man can rock this, hey, rock it. I just don't want my guy to smell like this. But if you can pull this off and your lady like it, then more power to you. But this one, y'all, more than words, this fragrance was worth every dollar. I really wish that I could have gotten a bigger bottle. I'm not even sure if it even comes in a big bottle. I did look for the 100 ml because I typically will buy a 100 ml bottle only because I'm such a heavy sprayer. Um, but this one does have a dent, which lets you know that I really do enjoy this fragrance and it is worth every dollar more than words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Listen, it is more than words. Definitely worth you getting your nose on. Definitely worth you trying out. Now this next one is not going to be a surprise to anyone um, because it is a fragrance that is very popular. Not as popular as her sister, but very popular. And the fragrance that I'm referring to is none other than Delina Exclusive. It wouldn't even be a luxury um, fragrance video if I did not have a Delina in here. Actually, y'all would probably have come after me <laughs> if I did not have either Delina or Delina Exclusive in this video. Anyone who knows me, you know, me and Delina, we're not friends, okay? We ain't friends. That rhubarb note and Delina, that's a no ma'am for me. And Delina exclusive, yes. This rosy, fruity, sweet, floral fragrance, yeah. We, we can get down, we're friends. Her sister, it was a no from the word go. But this powdery, beautiful rose fragrance that is so long lasting and so widely known and so loved yes y'all know this one lasts forever forever the lena exclusive is such an elegant fragrance again this is one of those fragrances that when you spray her on you better come right you better represent her the right way she like no you did put me on it you not your hair ain't done you got on the more raggedy run over girl i'm gonna need you to go get something a little less than me because <laughs> you ain't representing me right the lena exclusive yes She's exclusive for a reason, okay? Come correct when you spray her. I'm just saying. Ooh, worth every dollar spent on this one. I love this fragrance. I can't really tell where the, that's the only thing about these particular bottles is that you can't tell where your juice is. I, I haven't sprayed it that much, but I know it's probably getting to the point where I'm probably needing to start thinking about buying another bottle, but it's worth every dollar. I love this one. Y'all can have her sister. No offense to those of you who like her. I'm okay with it. Latanya, I know you love this one. Girl, you can have her. I prefer her sister. The Lena exclusive, we friends. Now, this next fragrance, y'all, this fragrance, it, she has been known to be called Delina on steroids. And anyone who knows this fragrance, you know how long-lasting the brand is. And that is none other than Atomic Rose by Initio. Listen, when I sprayed this one, y'all, one day, I sprayed the fragrance and I said, you know what? I need to go to the supermarket. So when I sprayed the fragrance, you know, over spray or me, I, I had just gotten it. So I really wasn't used to how potent the fragrance was. And I had heard that you don't really need to spray that much. But you know, I'm going to spray that much because that's just who I am. But ladies, whoo, they were smelling me up and through the acne. You hear me? <laughs> I lit the produce out. I was smelling right good. Yes, I was. You couldn't tell me nothing. This fragrance, y'all, is rose, it's floral, it's powdery, it's sweet, it's a stunner, and it lasts forever. This fragrance by Initio Parfums, baby, yes. This one right here worth every dollar spent. I love this fragrance. I, I don't even know which one I love the most between her and Delina Exclusive. I probably lean more towards Atomic Rose because it just smells different. You don't smell like everybody. You know, once Delina got popular, you know, everybody in their mama was spraying Delina. But I don't really, I've never really smelled Atomic Rose on anyone outside of, you know, myself. So Atomic Rose is worth you getting your nose on. If you've never smelled her, listen, do yourself a favor, get it. It is so worth it. It is worth it. Every dollar spent on this fragrance lasts forever. Now, this is the next fragrance. Really needs no introduction. When I heard about this fragrance, um, I kept saying like, I gotta get my nose on it. I gotta get my nose on it. I just can't spend that kind of money on that fragrance. Like, dang, that's a lot of money for a bottle of fragrance. The fragrance I'm talking about, y'all, is none other than Greenwich Village by Bond. Now I bought a tester and it, I'm kind of freaking out about that because it doesn't come with a cap, but nevertheless, the juice is still the same. I know when I use this up, I'm definitely gonna get another one, but I, it's gotta have the cap for me because I'm one of those people like my OCD kicks in and you know, I'm, I'm looking and I'm, 
it's not even on the shelf with the rest of the fragrances because it doesn't have a cap. It, like, I'm just that bad. But anyway, this fragrance is floral, it's musky, it is worth every dollar spent. It is sweet, it is powdery, it is fruity. Oh my gosh, have you ever smelled Greenwich, Greenwich Village by Bond Number 9? Oh! This fragrance can be an everyday scent if you don't mind spraying this price point every single day. But it is such a stunner. When I tell you that people will smell you, oh my gosh, you will you will definitely get attention. They will wonder what is that, that's, who is smelling up the place like that? This one is very long lasting, it's worth every single dollar. I love this fragrance. I, I'm so glad it's in my collection and I can't wait to spray this the next time because it is such a fabulous fragrance and it's, to me it's year round. Like I spray this summer, winter, autumn, spring. It doesn't matter to me. I spray this year round because it's just a year round fragrance for me. Definitely worth you getting your nose on, but it is a heavy price point. Like I said, the closer I get to the end, the higher the price point. This one I believe was like 405. Definitely worth every dollar. So if you don't mind spending the coin, it is definitely, listen, it's worth every dollar spent. Now this next fragrance, ladies, that I want to tell you about, it is said that the name is said to have healing powers when it is inscribed on an amulet. And it is also said, according to the website, that it's supposed to be able to heal broken hearts as well as boost sensuality. Now, the fragrance that I'm referring to is none other than Abracadabra 221 by the House of Kriegler. This fragrance right here is such an unusual, stunning, simply gorgeous fragrance. When I tell you the first time I sprayed this, I was captivated. I, I really was captivated and I thought this was worth every single dollar spent. This fragrance, oh my gosh. So for a reference point, it, it reminded me, the first time I smelled it, a little bit of Tom Ford's Metal Leak to give you like a reference of what it smells like. If you've ever smelled Metal Leak, this slightly resembles it, but just blended so much better than Metal Leak. This fragrance is such a gorgeous, stunning fragrance. Oh my gosh. This fragrance, I do smell vanilla. It smells a little musky to me. I believe that's um, one of the notes in it is white musk. I believe that's what I read in Tonka Bean. Anyone that I've ever told about this fragrance, the first time that they smelled it, they, they ordered a bottle as soon as they smelled it because it's just that stunning. I'm telling you, this fragrance was worth every dollar spent. If you don't do anything, get yourself a sample of this one. You can order the samples right off of the website. This fragrance is so long lasting, not only on clothing, but on skin. This one, this one, you, you definitely have to scrub this off. I promise you, this one goes nowhere. When it gets on your body, it holds on tight. Listen, if you even have it, tell me what your thoughts are. What do you think about Abracadabra? Let me know in the note, in the comments. This fragrance has gotten so popular and everyone um, that I, in Fratcom has been talking about this fragrance. I got this fragrance last year. When I first purchased it, I was like, because it was a blind buy and it was, um, I saw this on, um, Demi Rawlings channel and the fragrance I'm referring to is none other than Sultan by Royal Crown. This fragrance is such a stunning, beautiful vanilla fragrance. This fragrance is fruity, it's amber, it's powdery, it's sweet. It is worth every dollar spent. This amber beauty is perfect in my opinion for cold weather. Oh my gosh. It's warm, it's spicy, it's a little oody. It is everything. And, and when you see people talking about this, I promise you, everything is true about this fragrance. Long lasting, ambery. Oh, it's such a stunner. This, this is probably one of my favorite amber fragrances in all honesty. This fragrance is so long lasting and it was worth every dollar. I'm, I'm so glad I have it in my collection. Like I said, I, it was a blind buy and I, for the price point, I was a little scared because I was like, you know what? That's a lot of money to spend on a fragrance that you have no idea what it smells like. But when I tell you it's worth every dollar spent, it is. This, I don't know if I would say that this is a fragrance that, you know, it has to be dressed up. Because to me, I would probably wear this, you know, with some jeans and um, a, a, a button down. Or I would, I would might even wear it um, to church one day. I mean, who knows? It just will depend on what my mood is. But I don't necessarily think that this one is a fragrance that you absolutely have to um, come correct in. Now, don't get me wrong. 
it is worth you coming correct in it by all means. But at the same time, if you chose to throw on some jeans and a pullover or whatever it is that you chose to rock, I think that this will go well with it as well because this is such a beautiful fragrance, especially in this cold weather. It projects and when the cold air hits this, it's almost like it blooms. This is such a stunner. Worth you getting your nose on, worth every single dollar spent. Now these next two fragrances, y'all, well, this next one coming up, this one was such I'm not gonna say she tortured me, but I wanted this fragrance in the worst way and I had no idea what it smelled like. I just kept hearing about it and I knew that I wanted it in my in my collection. And I promised myself, if I don't get anything else for my birthday, I'm getting these next two fragrances. They're going to, they are going to be mine. This one, I had to put a miss in front of her name. She was, she, she commanded that kind of respect to me. The fragrance I'm talking about, y'all, is none other, none other than Miss Talia by Tiziana Terenzi. This one right here, this white floral that's woody, it's spicy, it's powdery, it's amazing. First of all, the bottle, the Sea Star, I, I just think it's so gorgeous. Now, I, I have met some people who think it's, a, it's not attractive. I happen to love it, so that's okay. You know, we're all entitled to our opinions, but to me, to lay, Miss Talia was worth every single dollar spent on her. I wore this fragrance last summer, y'all. Let me just tell you. I wore this fragrance last summer and it was a hot day and you know, of course, <laughs> I oversprayed it. And I, I was in the sitting in the car and I had the windows down and I was meeting someone and when they pulled up, they were like, dang, you smell good. <laughs> and I was like, you smell me all the way over there? They were like, uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, okay, Mr. Leia girl, you did that. Listen, this fragrance, not that I needed to overspray her, but that's just what I do. But this fragrance is such a stunning, gorgeous fragrance. She commands respect, y'all. She commands that you come correct with her. When you put her on, your hair better be right. Your outfit better be right. Your shoes better be popping with the right handbag. And don't walk slouched over, bent over. You better straighten your back, honey. You better walk right when you got Miss Talea on. Miss Talea says, step lightly when you spray me okay mr leia said you better come right with it i deserve that and she does to leia y'all is a stunning fragrance worth every single dollar i've ever spent on her yes she is always going to be a staple in my my collection when this bottle is done i cannot wait to repurchase it actually i'm going to repurchase it before it's even done because it's such a gorgeous fragrance and it's worth it in my opinion. Anyone who has this fragrance, you know, she is worth every single dollar. Now, the next fragrance that I wanna talk about is another Tiziana Terenzi. And like I said, y'all y'all know my collection. If you don't know, my collection is full of Tiziana Terenzi and Jerjoffs. That is what, well, and Chanel and Tom Ford, but we're not gonna talk about that. But anyway, um, this next fragrance, it's just as gorgeous as Talea, but on a different level. The fragrance I'm referring to comes in her own little seawater, y'all. She was floating in water. The bottles, the boxes that they come in are simply stunning. First of all, the box is gold, it's, it's lit. This one, Atlantide, was floating in seawater, y'all. Seawater. This fragrance was worth every single dollar. This is a tuberose bomb. If you love tuberose, then you will definitely enjoy this fragrance. This fragrance is, it's um, fruity, it's citrusy, it's a yellow floral, but like I said, it is tuberose. You have to like tuberose. If, if you don't like tuberose, you're definitely not going to like Atlantide. When Tiziana, when she created these bottles, she put this one in its own little plastic tube and it's floating in actual seawater. It's based off of, you know, the sunken treasures. And this one really is a treasure, a tuberose treasure worth every single dollar. Oh my gosh. Hands down, the best tuberose in my collection. Now, do I have a lot of tuberose? Yes, I do. Tuberose is not necessarily my favorite um, note, but I do have quite a few, but this particular fragrance is the best tuberose in my collection, in my opinion. And this, oh my gosh. 
And if you've never smelled this fragrance, I believe you can get a sample of this from Sauvant Guard. I believe you can. This is definitely worth you getting your nose on. Treat yourself, ladies. You will not regret it. Out of all of these fragrances, the one that I love the absolute most, if you could not tell, is Talea. That is my absolute favorite out of all of the fragrances. I will always repurchase her as well as Atomic Rose. And that, ladies, is the end of my long-lasting luxury perfumes that last 10 plus hours. Let me know what your long-lasting fragrances are. Do you have any luxury fragrances in your collection? And if you do, share them with me. Especially if there's something different that I don't have that you think I might like to add to my collection or that you think I might need to add to my collection. Leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you. I love responding to everyone. And as you know, I always write back. I absolutely love engaging with every last one of you. I am certainly enjoying having everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I love the fact that, you know, you guys engage with me and I, I continuously am amazed at how supportive the FRAGCOM community has been to me. And I look forward to sharing more of my fabulous fragrances with you. And until the next video, y'all take care and continue to smell fabulous. Bye y'all.